Right, it's toy time again, and uh, I'll just show you now. The bottle bottle. So, out here in the therapy shed, it's a uh, an Impax uh, 24 litre tank. Uh, come on, it's on wheels. So. I should have actually had it that way, I had it the wrong way around. There you go. So, and there's all the details on to it there. Uh, it was bought, it was bought originally for his screw fix. So if you go to the screw fix website, they've got this bad boy on for sale just now at £110. Um, now, the ratings for it are way up there. It's getting a lot, a lot of positive reviews, okay? And the only negative side is, that it doesn't come with any tools, any hoses, any fixings, nothing. So you've got your tank, 24 litre as I said, quite a good tank actually, so semi-professional stuff, plenty of power into that. You get a set of wheels and underneath here a 97 decibel motor. Now, the f there was another sticker here which was actually hanging off. This isn't a brand new, this is second hand. Alright, so uh, it's me at my best. But it's never been used. Look. There is the tip. Still on the gauges. Look at that. Oh, it's, it's just like peeling a new phone. <laughs> right. So there you go. There's it on that side, but I'll leave that one on just now. So, uh, and that's really it. There isn't really much you can see about a compressor, all right? So, but one of the fundamental things that's got me on this is, right? It's probably a meter, all right? Uh, if it is that. Okay, so one point I'll give it one point three meter because it's no kicking the back end off it, right? But even at that, right, it's not much and at the same time as well it says not to plug it into an extension. Now Unless you've got 240 sockets every place in your garden, garden, garage, whatever, right? What the hell do you use that without without an extension cable? So the fact that it's so cheap, the only thing that concerns me is that um, it could blow up, which um, doesn't sound like it will happen, but. Uh, what could happen is that for some reason or another that, that'll burn the motor, right? Now, if it burns the motor, fairy dues I'm not that much of a pocket. But at the same time as well, it's the only way I can use it. So before anybody jumps in and goes, eh, but you kinda I have no other alternative. Okay? I'm no way to go and be super long flex to go into that, right? Now, one thing is I'm not sure, uh, I'm, what was I saying there, uh, I'm, not, I'm actually not sure how loud this is, so 97 decibels, here goes. <laughs> Fuck me, that's loud, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Should we have a word of that or not? So, uh, 97 decibels is loud. They reckon it takes just over uh, two minutes to put a bit of air into this. Alright, so, but this needs tools. So, so, I can't really show you, or can I? Because, you know me. My favourite shop, my mate Bob was mean to see us. 
Ta-da! I bought this. Now, uh, this isn't the way I was expecting this to come. And this is a 10 metre airline. Okay? So what they're saying is, is they're not using it a power cable because it could burn it out get get a long air line it doesn't help us with my power cable so now I am actually dreading this bit because I'm not sure what kind of fitment that is and to be fair it looks uh, it looks standard enough that it's a, a quarter fitment, but there's a three eighth fitment. Uh, there, was a, there was a screw on type of fitment. Uh, so I went for this, okay. Which it's it comes the reason I've, I've spent a bit of money on a, on a half decent one. You get cheap ones, but because of the, the movement and the air compression, I thought it'd been better if I bought. A half decent gauged one, um, which if things are to go about, that's what I've done. Now, the reason is I think I just push this in. Wow! <laughs> oh, now, so, that'll be fair. It fits in. If this is too noisy, hang on. the noise of the plastic for you. Now, so what I've now got is 10 metre of hose and uh, uh, now the outside is PSI and the inside is bar. So right now I've got one, two, three, four. I'm just short of four bar, okay? So I'm I'm not sure. See, I, right, I'll let you in a secret. I never bought an air gun. I've kind of cut a corner because one of the things that I've not done yet is my cycle maintenance. And the reason I haven't done that is, is because, well, to be fair, the, the, the thing I bought for pumping up the tyres with the 12 volt socket did the work because the converter thing, it was just. I was just mince basically, so so what I've done is <laughs> that's the box empty now, alright. I've actually bought this and it's a an Astro or is it an Astro Al? It's a 250 PSI digital tire inflator with a pressure gauge. Now the reason I went for this thing is I think I might be able to use this as an air gun, right? Hopefully. Plus I wanted again to buy something with quality. And this seems to fit the bill. But there was something about this unit that I liked. And that was... Oh, they're in. It's battery operated. Okay. So if I switch it on... There you go. Okay. So, I've now got my digital read in there. Right. And that's uh, that's bar, that's KPA, that's that's KC, KG slash CM. We all know what that is, of course. And then I'm back to PSI again. So, but it's the fitment on this I really like, right? And the fitment is onto the valve with that wee notch there and let it go. Now, these, I feel, are, they're much, much more better than what you're using with the, like the, the, 
the 12 volt blow up type, I think you know the type I mean, eh? So when you get the likes of that, that is actually, well it's uh, just like a push fit with, have I got him? I don't think I've got him, no, it's the push fit on and you, you clip the plastic thing down and then you, when you've pumped your tyre up, you lift the thing up and as you go to pull it off your nozzle goes pssst, and you lost air. This you won't with, okay? Now, there is also a release button on the side here, so if you over inflate, you can just touch that. Again, it's a solid brass fitting connection onto this, and there's a solid brass fitting connection here. Now, I've got a funny feeling that I will be able to buy a nozzle for this as an attachment, so I can put an extended wand on and use this as a blowgun. But at the same time as well, I can use this. Or can I? Let's try it out. So. For the love of God. Right. So, first things first. Wow, that's very solid. Look, that comes off the bar. Oh, did you hear the air there? Whoa. There you go. Now. Wow. Oh! It's just switched itself back on again. Look at that. So, you've got a view of the table here. Ta da! Now, so that I'm really, really happy with. Now, there's another thing about this as well. I like my toys, and I, I always like a toy that's got a wee niche on it. And I've never seen this on anything else. And I'm not sure if I can see it through this. But it says light. I'm going to push that. Oh, nothing happens. Ah! Oh, it must have been the deer are in. There was a dearer one that actually had a light on it. So, all that does is that's just switching the light off to save batteries. Well, that's a disappointment, I'll have you know. But... <laughs> oh, and that's it. So that, that's... As you said, there's... A, now, what I'm going to do is... I'm actually just going to... Well, obviously... I will unplug this. Okay? And... I'm not sure, uh, um, to be fair, I, I think if I'm going to use that kind of a thing in here, um, I'm going to need the Defender headphones because it is a bit loud, alright? Uh, one of the other things as well is, there's a screw right at the bottom here, I hope you're getting this. And... If I can get that, there you go. You hear that? That's the air coming out of that. So that's how... That, that's a water drain as well as a pressure release because seemingly they meant to leave things empty. But there's only something like ta, 10... There's 20 PSI sitting in there, so... It's, it's no really a lot. So, for, for what it is, um, and also, by the way, before I forget, this type of fitment here is the same as all your air power tools as well. So, I've got my first tool. <laughs> right? And that's so easy, there's, look, there's nothing. It's that easy that it falls out. And it's that easy that it's in. Oh, wow. Then what I, I really do, I surprise myself at times. So, eh. Uh, I'm not sure what the, they've gave us PTFE tape for. Um, four spare dust caps. And that's the thing for a valve. So, but, apart from that, all I would like to say is, for watching, <laughs> give us a thumbs up if you like this. Again, as I said, it's the Impax Treble 2. It's on the, the Screwfix website, you go into there, you get a lot of the details. There's even a PDF file on there 
That's a, that's that's a PDF file. Gonna confuse that we we Jimmy Savile. He's a different kind of a PDF file. So, uh, but uh, to be fair, there, there's no really much. All you've really got to learn is is what your pressures mean. On off button up at the top there. This bit of here is a regulator. Actually, there is one good thing about this regulator actually. For to set your pressures on this, there's even a lock ring as well, because obviously the vibrations on that, you're, you don't want to set it as something and then it goes off and gives you little or too much pressure. Because, uh, well, for instance, this tank you can actually do airbrushing with, but I personally think the volumes in this would be too strong for airbrushing. All right, so I've got the wee airbrushing kit for that, that's good. But if I go online and I buy the paint kit for like the garden and the fence panels, plug a bad boy in and I'm ready to go. And also at the same time as well, because I've no got any, uh, these fucking things, kind of your extension reels, right? Because I've no got any of them, to ensure I've got the flexibility of work this outside, I've all be powering it, even though the sticker said don't. Right? Because there is no other way to do this for me, I'm afraid. But I'll not be getting used that much, so I think all I'll do is just keep my eyes on temperatures. But apart from that, wow, what a solid, cracking piece of kit. I'm one happy bunny, I'm signing out, and I'll see you in the next one. Till then, ta-da!